Just a few blocks from the glitz and glamour, away from the grandeur and excitement that gives Nashville its name, is a school on the fringe of greatness. Hunters Lane High School is located on the outskirts of Nashville. Of the 1,700 students calling at home, nearly 70% are at or below the school's economically disadvantaged line, and nearly 30% of all students never see it through to graduation. But despite all this, Hunters Lane is a school filled with tremendous pride. This is thanks in part to teachers such as William Brooks III. William is the school's newest addition, and he just arrived last year. A product of Detroit's inner city school system, he found music at an early age, and his passion to succeed is what propelled him out of the poverty that surrounded him. He received a music scholarship to Middle Tennessee State University, and upon graduation, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. When it came time to interview for a teaching position, he told the council that he wanted to be placed in the toughest and most forgotten music program in the state. Hunter's Lane was at the top of that list. When he arrived in 2013, there were only 17 students left in the music program. So he got right to work, and by the end of the year, he'd grown the program to more than 70 kids, and once again instilled a sense of pride. He undoubtedly loves what he does, and his passion for music can certainly be found resonating in his students. I love music. It, um... It helped me through a hard time that I went through in my life. And so just having music there, it's always there for me. So whenever I'm upset or anything, I always turn to music. Um, it's just what I love to do is I love listening to music. I love playing music. I don't know where I would be without it. Joining us at today's event are six students from Hunters Lane High School. Each of these students has made a tremendous commitment to the pursuit of learning their musical instrument. What makes it so remarkable is that not one of these students has an instrument that they can call their own. Whether they borrow a friend's or share one during school hours, they've never known what it's like to call the one thing they covet the most their own. Today, we plan to change that. It would feel amazing. So amazing. I would probably cry, honestly. It would kind of be like, I know I did something right because I used to play a different instrument, but this year I just recently switched. And Mr. Brooks has helped me come a long way and I know that if I could possibly win this, if I get that new instrument, I'll know for sure I did something right.